And now, the nobility of pain. set his arm on fire. Uh, hey, you, did you see the man at the cash desk as you were coming in? Uh, yes. An out-and-out out arse bandit. <laughs> uh, uh, I can spot him a mile off. I saw the way he looked at me when I gave him the money. I pictured myself in his evil embraces. Hey, you, uh, can you imagine the two of us uh, buck naked? <laughs> 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 and now, ladies and gentlemen, the conquest of fear. What did I miss? Oh, he's amazing. What a man, don't you think so, Negu? Yeah, Americans are great, aren't they? I mean, nobody could ever accuse them of being a bunch of irritating show-offs. <laughs> Isn't this brilliant? Apparently, in the second half, he's going to wrestle a bull. Yeah, but I wonder who'd come top in a counting to three competition. <laughs> I have to meet some creditors out of town tonight, but I'll be back tomorrow at noon to pick up the boys. Oh, bliss. Another evening with Charles Jr. Mm. <laughs> but when you return, I can give you one of my paintings. Yes, remember, I'm a man of taste. I don't put any old shite up on my wall. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I trust you'll take good care of the boy, Degu. Oh, Charles Jr., anyway. Don't worry too much about Edouard. Michel. <laughs> Whatever. Charles Jr. <laughs> is the important one. If anything happened to him, I, I don't know what I'd do. Kill you, probably. <gasps> Jesus, will you look at that? <laughs> Some brave soul has challenged me to a bout of bare knuckle boxing. Oh! What would be the place to do that? Mr. <laughs> Alan D. Goose. Oh, you little shit. Come along, Degu. The honor of France is at stake. No, it's not. Only a woman man would turn down the offer of a fight. Oh, go on, Degu. Yes, come along. You don't want to become known as a, a woman's carny knitter. Come on, Alan. <laughs> 